The world is spinning faster than any other time in human history. Not literally, of course, but in terms of information, innovation, and in many ways, the dehumanization through digitization. There is little doubt that we are living in an exponential era right now. For those born in the analog generation like myself, the urge to wind back the hands of time grows stronger and stronger with every tick-tock of the clock. And it makes me wonder, if life had a pause button, it would probably look a lot like the Tour de Cebu logo. For the uninitiated, the Tour de Cebu may seem like just another fun run for the boys with their toys. But to those who have been participating over the last 9 years, it's a chance to go back in time when life was much simpler to celebrate a passion that has only become deeper as the world becomes shallower. The event, which first flagged off in 2013, has become recognized as one of the most prestigious motoring events in historical rallies, not just in the country, but internationally as well. Rivaling the famed Rally Nippon across Japan and the recently revived Milia Migura that traverses through some of the most beautiful cities of Italy. This year's event kicked off with a breathtaking vintage car show at the New Star Hotel in Cebu followed by a ceremonial drive across the stunning new CC Lex Bridge, then over to the port of Cebu to load the cars on a ferry to take us to the official starting line at the Tubigon port in Paul, where the 1,000km tour would begin. There were 37 official entries, ranging from a 1955 Porsche 550 Spider, like the one James Dean famously owned, to a 1983 Mercedes-Benz 280SL. The competition is open to cars 1972 and older, but allows for some of the newer cars like the 1983 280SL and a few 1974 Porsches to join for their experience and special category awards. Sadly, my 2022 Nissan Kicks was just too new to join, so I was paired up with James Deacon, host of CNN's motoring show Drive, who was driving in 1963 Cougar, which is the racing edition of the fabled E-Type Jaguar. All I needed now was to dress the part, and for that, I turned to Mango for some retro outfits and Dyson for the 60s hairdo. So, what makes Tour de Cebu a one of the highest events? It's the best world class motoring experience that's based proudly here in the Philippines. And if you have a vintage car, sports car, you absolutely have to have to join Tour de Cebu. To me, it's really a, an event that brings uh, Cebu and Manila together. You, mm -hmm. know? you meet different kinds of people from all uh, walks of life. Yes, that's true. So that's, that, true. that's what really makes uh, the tour special. I love cars. And as you can see from all around, you know, these are people that are very enthusiastic about yeah, cars and yeah. putting them together. And there's no event like this in the Philippines. The goal of the rally is precision over speed. It is a race against yourself. In one where, aside from reliability, you have no mechanical advantage. Participants are given a time card and must arrive at each of these checkpoints at a pre-prescribed time based on average speed. This places most of the pressure on the navigator or code driver like me as it is their job to make sure that all these calculations are exact, which becomes increasingly difficult if the driver makes a wrong turn or the vintage driving instruments are off. We tried to keep up with the pack at first, but eventually we had to make a choice between focusing on the race or on the coverage. And as we are both content creators, we slowed it down a bit to allow time for photos and videos. A lot has happened to the world over the last two and a half years. And for me, the Tour de Cebu was a perfect time to reflect on all of that and to start appreciating the joy in the simplest things we once took for granted. Like the wind in your hair, the smiles per mile, and knowing that with all the pressure the world is placing on trying to fit in, one thing we could learn from these classic cars is that being yourself is what will make you stand out.